Hi guys, welcome to our today's session. Uh, today I'm going to tell about how to direct the records from Salesforce. Okay. In previous videos, I already discussed about uh, how we need to uh, create the uh, records in Salesforce, how we need to get the uh, data from Salesforce, and uh, how to update the records in Salesforce. Okay, guys. Uh, now I'm going to tell about uh, how to uh, direct the records in Salesforce. Okay. For going to please ask about videos. Yeah, we will go to uh, our today topic. Okay. Uh, initially, I'm taking one HTTP listener here. Okay. Then I am giving the path delete. Okay. Then again, I am taking Salesforce connector with delete. Okay. Here, if you are uh, uh, saying, guys, here we need to pass the uh, records to delete ID. So we have to pass the IDs of the records. Then only uh, it will process the records. Okay, guys. So we need to uh, pass the IDs. Just remember, guys. Okay. Uh, then uh, we need to delete. So IDs we need to pass it. So for IDs, how we need to get? So if uh, initially I'm going to tell, uh, I'm going to show uh, my Salesforce data here, my account data. So I'm having these all of the records. So here uh, I will work on only one record. So here I'm taking uh, Santosh. Okay, record name is Santosh. So this record I want to delete. Okay, fine. Uh, so initially we need to pass uh, that name and we have to take the ID from that uh, from the Salesforce. Okay. So how we need to uh, get the details? I mean, get the ID from Salesforce by passing the name, right? So for that I'm uh, writing one query. To get the uh, ID of the particular name, okay. So because we need to pass the IDs only for the ID. So inquiry, I'm writing uh, select ID, select ID name from account. Where name equal to name. Okay, this name uh, I will pass from parameters name, and this value I'm taking from attributes from I mean for the parameters. Okay, attributes dot for the params dot name. He should be captain. Okay, so after that, uh, I am taking one transform message. Okay, uh, payload map ID. Dollar dot ID. name dollar dot name sorry okay thing is ready guys so from in delete we have to send ids on the right so id okay next i will put one time some message just i will print the json payload Okay, guys, our thing is ready. Now I'm going to run run the project. So guys, uh, if you want to uh, know the uh, know how to create or how to update the records, how to uh, get the data, uh, get the uh, data from the Salesforce, already done a uh, previous videos. Please go to the videos and check it there. Otherwise, I'll provide the link in description. Okay, guys.
okay the authority is going to deploy now let us see Still, we have uh, some post record. So, uh, once, it, once the running is finished, uh, I will show you. Okay, guys, our application is uh, successfully deployed. Uh, now, I'm going to uh, hit the path. I already uh, write the path. I already um, declared here. Just uh, run sending now. Okay. See here, uh, we got the status uh, success true and with the ID. Okay, so let us check uh, in our Salesforce connector. So we have Santosh here. I'm going to refresh now. See, guys, we don't have that uh, Santosh record. Okay, again, if you want to uh, send it again, uh, just see what will happen. See, ID list cannot be null because all. Uh, on this particular ID, we don't have any records, so that's why it was coming now. Okay, so this is uh, this is the guys how we need to delete the record from Salesforce. Thank you. Uh, I will come with another topic in the next video. Until then, bye. Thank you.